I did it. I, I finished it. I finally finished it. <laughs> like a week ago, but like, I did it. I, I finished the hardest piece that I have ever attempted. And I recorded the whole process. This painting has been a roller coaster of anxiety and motivation. And if it weren't for the incredible patience and encouragement of several people, uh, I very well could have pushed this out another six months. But that's not how business works, so we can't do that. After I finished my dinosaur mural, uh, a close friend of the family asked if I would be willing to paint a portrait of her three current dogs with the previous two dogs that she had, and of course I said yes. Started out great. I was pumped. I was excited. Woo! I was ready to do this. And then I finished the background and it was actually time for the hard part. I used my sketchbook program to figure out the layout and poses and I used a projector to center and trace them on the canvas because I was not doing proportions for five dogs. I wanted this to be perfect. Painted the first few layers to smooth out the colors and then it sat there for a while while I figured my life out. I bit the bullet, I picked a dog, this way, that, this way. Once I started Gracie, all the pressure went away and I had no idea what I was afraid of the whole time. Next was the bodies of the Red Goldens. I was happy with how they were turning out. Next was Hunter, and his eyes were so difficult because I was trying to capture detail from a photo that was a different angle from the pose that I chose, and his nose is also very light, but it didn't look realistic enough to me, so I spent forever trying to fix it. And that is when I realized, and I hope all my artist friends will appreciate this, it's a painting and not a photograph. At this point, it has been at least three months since Heidi asked for this painting, so I was determined to finish it. I painted Maya's body, and honestly, I was pretty pleased with how it was turning out. Don't know if it was that satisfaction or the determination to finish that made me want to keep going, but I actually wanted to continue. Then I decided to move on to Bailey, who, again, was pretty dang easy, and I don't know if it's just because it was the same day or if... I was just really that determined to finish. The only thing that was hard about Bailey was the picture that I was painting from. Uh, it was a flash photo, so the lighting was coming from right here, and the rest of the dogs are either outside or there's like a window behind them. So that was kind of interesting, trying to figure out the lighting. <laughs> Finally, the last day that I painted, I got to Gunner's head and I was so excited, but once again, so afraid for no reason. So I got him started and the whole time I'm painting him, I'm really digging the, the dark colors that I wasn't afraid to use anymore. And it was turning out really well, but then I was getting kind of concerned that I was painting him too dark and then I didn't paint the other dogs dark enough. So then I had to, that means I would have had to go back and fix all the other dogs again. So then once again, I was starting to stress myself out. But after he was finished, I did eventually go back in and darken them up. And I really, really like how it turned out. <laughs>
I just want to thank everyone for watching this and I want to express how much I appreciate your support and your continued interest in my career. If you want to see more videos like this, then give this video a like, comment your thoughts. If you want to help me grow, share this video so other people can see it. The more that you interact with this video, the more people will see it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Just want you to remember, be kind, be honest, and drink water.